Good morning, good morning, good night, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. We are doing this little bit of a driveway today. We did this front bit a while ago with these guys, Brandon and Gregory and Sean. And Mud's here, so let's go. Then we're going to go and help Simon do a job straight after this one. Alright, we've got some in so far. It's black oxide, this stuff. Black oxide exposed. Alright guys, I thought I'd do a little voiceover for you while we're on screening this. Um, it's 50% white, 50% black, exposed, with black oxide in it. So that's why it's so dark and concrete. I'll just give you some tips on about um, streeting exposed, why we get such a nice job when we do exposed concrete. You want to like keep the concrete a bit higher behind you, and so you can, you're always cutting stone down. You don't want to be, if you're low and you close it up and you've got no stone there, you're going to have a, a ghosty bit in your concrete when you wash off. So the, the best way is to leave a little bit high, like 10, 20 mil high, and shave it back, shave it back to the right height. And the reason why you don't go too fast and move too quickly is because you don't want to cut or make a mistake in the concrete. You make a mistake, put a big gash in the concrete, you have to fill it up with stone again. If you wreck your height on the outside there, you have to fix it up again. Everything you make dents or scratches or you dab the shovel or well, these guys are dabbing the shovel into the concrete and if I close that up and it doesn't actually close up that strike where the shovel is, it's going to leave a mark where the shovel was and you won't see that until later until you wash off. So it's very important to have a little bit high and cut it back. So you use that cutting edge to cut the stone back. And when you cut them back, he wants me with the screed. I actually use my fingers on the screed, for one. And I, when I cut back, and if I'm pulling back here, so I'll cut to the side. And when I cut to the side, it closes it up at the same time. If I cut straight back, it just shaves it, it cuts it, and leaves it all open. And, and that takes like, even longer to actually close up again. So a lot of times you see me, I shave to the side, shave to the side, and then go in the middle, to close it up, and it's already done. Like that, see I'm cutting across. Cutting across. It's not good to be low, that's for sure. Alright, uh, I'll leave you to it. I'll play some music.
car here. See all that bit over there. Looking good. Boss is wheel bearing. I'll put this pad in and work our way back, eh? Alright, we've got this bit in now. Just watching out this little bit of a concrete here. Backing this truck up. Still this little bit to go. Let's go. And there's a truck. Is this the second truck? No. Nah. First truck still. Yeah. Okay, we have 10 to 7. And now I gotta go and help Simon. Thanks, Brent. Good shit. Good stuff, boys. Good See you next time. Bye bye. Thanks, truck driver. Alright, all good, Brent? Good shit. Okay. Alright guys, that's it for that job. Now we're gonna go and help um Simon and the guys do a 200 square slab shed slab for Spartan. Got myself some new free shirts as well. Thanks, Brant. Good shit, let's go. Alright guys, it's eight o'clock and I'm at my next job with Simon and the guys. We're doing a 200 square shed slab. Pumps here, but the concrete's not here yet. Alright, we're on the next one. We're big Simon. We got borrowed concrete and um, yeah, we're still in a shed slab, eh? Footings everywhere. Uh, we're gonna go around and fill the footings in. Nice and deep. This has still got his one boot. Probably 700, nearly a meter deep to the top. Come on, get in! Everyone just push you over and you'd be hopping away. <laughs> yeah, I know. Scared. Fuck, he was scared, eh? He was really scared. Oh, yeah. shit. Don't, don't pick on him anymore. Stand it back, mate. Sit back. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Just look what's happening. He's saying that you're a wuss and you're like, you couldn't handle it, eh, Shane? Yeah, look, look, look. Watch out. He's a bit taller than you, Shane. That's it. <laughs> See how I'm doing the circle dance? <laughs> he just hit himself. <laughs> All right. It is 10 to 10. I just screwed all this off. So far, Simon's putting the rails in for me. His foot's a little bit better. He's, he can put rails in for me. He's, I think he's done one little bay for me as well. But anyway, it's good. It's good to get a bit of help. I am pretty buggered and it's freaking hot. Sweating my ass off. This is my second shirt for today. Went home at, when I did the other job and changed. So I sweated the other two out. I will always wear two shirts as well. Because I sweat the bottom one out. <laughs> I don't like wearing these other ones. On my skin either, so. Mm. Alright, let's go. Back into it. Come on, Shane. Get into it. 10-13. Yeah, I did this part. We just bring them back a bit and then we went, went back all the way that way. It's a 10 footer. We just have these two patios now. And then I'm done. It's so hot and sweaty. Boys are all fucked. Everyone's buggered already. They said they didn't need me, so I'm going. <laughs> 10. 10 40. I did the patio at the back. Now we just gotta do this patio. And we're all done. What? <laughs> nah, I'm just getting a shot. Oh, my throat's so sore from being dehydrated. Sweating so much. I'll get this shot for you, but nah. I'll just show you what we're doing. I'm screwing it back this way. Putting pads here, putting pad there. And then she's done. 11 o'clock, I'm done. Well. So I just screwed off that driveway and come and screwed off all this off and that's my day for today. Two and a half days make one full day. <laughs> and finished by 11. See ya Richie. Sucked in mate. Do it all yourself eh? You lazy little prick. I'm going to get that foot off. Today, I reckon. He's going to finish the patio yeah. are you? Is that it? That's all I can do mate. Are you excited? Yeah. 
My Solomon's finishing the slab. Yeah. Look at look how unflat that is. Look how unflat that one is. Oh, around. Flat town, flat, flat, flat out. Bye! Simon said I could go, but I bet he doesn't want me to go. I'm back. It's too hot. I'm back. My throat's back. I'm out of here. See ya. Bye. Alright, guys. That's it for me. <laughs> I'm buggered. I've sweated out two, four shirts so far. And um, yeah, it's a very humid day, but um, like it is overcast, but it's just very humid. And hopefully these boys will be right. If they get stuck, they can ring me up, I'll come back. So otherwise I'm going home to make this video. So enjoy, make sure to share, and um, check out this little thing at the end here of, um, from Ox Tools, the string line, the chalk line. It's supposed to be really strong. So we'll check it out. Hopefully we'll, go, we'll get to use it on a job soon, but you can buy them at Bunnings. So I might give a couple of them away. If you guys share this video, leave a comment, say Ox Tools, um, and that means you shared the video, I will um, put you in the draw and we'll give one away. We'll give a couple away. Depends how many people enter. 100 people enter, I'll give 10 of them away. 100 shares, I'll give 10 of them away. Come on, let's go. See you guys. Yeah, this thing from Ox Tools. It's a new string line. It's got an extra strong string. It's a power leash. More abrasive, I reckon. For the pro concreters.